Fucking goddamn. Well, the LeBron truth. James mom thing is still speculation, right? That never officially. That came never out. Was, a, was official. But you see her behavior in Miami. She's smacking people in the face. She's, you know, and and it probably wasn't. And the reason why they're not hitting Delonte West in his face in his game and, and knocking him, and, it's because it's probably the, his mom's fault. Like uh-huh. she's aggressive. Mm-hmm. She probably like, baby, come here. You know, and he's like, oh, Miss James, shit. like. Yeah. It's two sides of every story. Like, uh, would you think a motherfucker is that crazy to go, Psst, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever her first name is, R- Roletta. I don't know what's her first name, but... Uh, <laughs> Roletta. Hey, Miss Jane, come here. Let me talk to you for a minute. Let me fuck you real quick. Like, th- that, you can see her going... Because she smacked the guy in the face and go, do you know who the fuck I mm-hmm. am? So, if, <laughs> if you got a fucking... Some dude's like... You know, he's walking around. She's like, I like, I like, uh, and she's, I guess she's fucking my age. She's in her 40s or I some don't, shit. I don't think my mama minded much what he was doing to her. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sling Blade. She, she, she fucking walks in. The guy's banging his mom and he kills them both. She might have I been aggressive, I, man. She, she didn't mind what he was doing to her. <laughs> <laughs> she can't be more than early 40s. No, she's very young. <laughs> and she has nothing better to do. Yeah, she's it's walking be around a nightmare like, for I'm, LeBron. and she looks exactly like him. Oh, yeah, so it's does. like, you know who I am? And it's like, you. she's smacking people in the face and da-da-da. So, I mean, I can see. And he looks like she's from Cleveland. And uh, that's where Bone Thugs and Harmony's from. Yeah. And she probably grew up listening to Bone Thugs and Harmony. And and Delonte West looks like one of the Bone Thugs and Harmony motherfuckers, the the the, the Thuggish Ruckus Bone guys, with the fucking light skin face and ah <laughs> 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 Bone Thugs and Harmony. She looks like he looks like the guy. Delonte West looks like the guy, all the way to the left. Really? Except for he got red hair and a bunch of tattoos. So she probably thought he was cute as a motherfucker, sexy. She's like, come here. <laughs> Why would he do that? Hiding though? behind the popcorn. Psst, come here. Why the fuck did he do that? It could have been jealousy. It could have been the fact that he's a dude. It's hard to turn down pussy. LeBron's mom? He might, if you get pregnant, man, to... can you imagine the fucking loins? Well, he has a little kid I, from... That's what I'm hitting at. Maybe you want to take a shot at the lottery. <laughs> that you can pump out one more. <laughs> one more LeBron. And, and he gets <laughs> super mad with that shit. And he goes, fuck this. I don't need to do this basketball thing. <laughs> I'll let my little fucking son do it. I'm telling you, man. Maybe. But he's but see, the difference between him and fucking Pau Gasol... Is LeBron still dropping forty? And it don't matter. No, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting scared. Dallas, is, Dallas is pretty strong. I just, I just don't want to see the Heat win this fucking thing. They're gonna, man. they're gonna win. They are going to win the whole fucking they're, thing. They're peaking at the right time, right? They're gonna win. I mean, they're just gonna. Hey, yeah. Sam Carey, your Black Celtics. How you know about my Black Celtics? I follow you on Twitter, Oh, brother. shit, man. Oh, yeah. They got beat down. We're all laughing at your Black Celtics <laughs> thing. That got beat down, yeah, man. But I, I think Ant was saying this is what's uh, it's planned. It was planned to be seven games. Got to go seven games. Fucking David Stern is, is whacking off in an office somewhere here in New York. He can't be happier. Seven games with, with the Lakers and the Celtics, NBA Finals. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out of here. I don't think it's planned to have Kobe shoot. 37 <laughs> foot jump. I, if anything, it may be the refs can fucking affect it, probably. Nah, it's not but the, but I, the I, fucking I players, they want to win badly. What but it? that fucking look, my feet swell up terrible on cross country fights. It's like these guys are 35, pushing 40 for Ray Allen. You know he got gets the gout real bad on those fucking got the gout. when you're forty thousand feet in the air, man. <laughs> <It's> fucking, <laughs> you gotta be young to deal with that fucking shit. They're man. just going back and forth. They should have had that that game tonight and give them two days rest, man. There's no fucking way they because the game was late Sunday mm-hmm. for, in Boston. Okay, they probably left Sunday night. They had to go back home, leave, pack up, shit. leave Sunday night, get there really late uh, uh, Sunday or really early Monday in in L.A., go check in a hotel. Kobe and them get to go home, be with their woman, their kids, eat their food, watch their TV, watch all night long because hotels don't have all the channels. Kobe got all the channels <laughs> watching everybody go, Kobe sucks. His wife's head is big, and <laughs> Lamar Odom is is possibly gay, and it's like they get to go home, and all fucking Kevin Garnett got is goddamn A and E, maybe if they're lucky. <laughs> yeah. One Sports Center, one ESPN, not the, uh, not all the channels that say Kev, 
You a bad motherfucker, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so so That's they a... got their ass whooped. God damn. So now they ch they chilling tonight, and they relaxing, and then hopefully tomorrow it, they can pull it off. Man. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow's I'm the game. Praying, tomorrow in, in Boston, right? No, here. Here, it's two, in, here in New York. Two, That's weird. Two games, L.A. <laughs> I mean, in uh, L.A. Two, three, sorry. two. You're right. Two, I'm sorry. Two, three, two. You're right. You're right. You're right. So in, in fucking stupid. I'm going old school. Remember when, yeah, it, went, when it was. It, it went. Two, two, two one, 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 one. Yep. Right. Remember that? Which was better. But maybe not. Because motherfuckers get the gout. Flying. Back uh, and yeah, forth. Yeah. Man, yeah. my ankles. Dude, game seven in L.A. How, He's a swollen ankle. Motherfucker, my ankles look like. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> they fucking look like, like Macy float heads. <laughs> <laughs> All you can tell is it's my <laughs> my shoe. I'm my I'm busting out my shoes like the Hulk. <laughs> You're black, on the fucking plane. Your Black Celtics are in trouble. Game seven in L.A. Fucking black what are you Celtics. thinking? You're done. Come on, Black Celtics. Come on, Black Celtics. Come on, Black Celtics. Ever since you said that on our show a while ago, but the, you're, you're shocked that we know this. You start, I think you started on our show, and we popped up the picture of all the Black Celtics in their Celtics uh, uniforms. Just so out of place. The Black <laughs> fucking Celtics, and they out black. And let me tell you, not because of their color, they got get, Nate Robinson's a thug. <laughs> Big Baby is just frothing at the mouth. Fucking, they're get Kevin Garnett. Everybody in the league at one point was scared of Kevin Garnett. He used yeah. to travel with his boys. He was a fucking rough motherfucker. Paul Pierce is from Compton or some shit. Ray Allen is the CPT. only black Celtic that's not like fucking really black. He can live in the white world. Yeah, he's a he's a, look at his easily. Look at the face they have of him. Yeah, they, <laughs> like kind of like happy. But Nate Robinson throws gang signs during the game, uh, dude. When Nate does good, he throws gang signs. Man. You know, you, yeah, you don't want to see this shit. You know, like where it looks like your fingers hurt. And like Nate, you have arthritis. arthritis. But he stands. can't play unless you allow him to be a gang member. He cannot play correctly. Under rules, that is you gotta let him up. do you his game. You have shit. him, Rasheed Wallace, and Doc Rivers knows that. So when they, he tries to get as much out of them as he possibly can, but he's a gang member. Look at him. Yeah, look, he's throwing up. He gang can't signs. stop. But he's he's amazing when when you let him be a gang member you know, and he can play. You, you make a good point. I used to be all in with basketball. I really was. I I, I couldn't get enough of the NBA, and I, it finally hit me. I lost interest when the neck tattoo made made the appearance in the NBA. <laughs> I was starting to try, try to figure out when did I lose interest, and I think when that when the tattoos started coming higher and higher and, over, and the it's, and it's not. over the shirt a little bit, even over the shirt a little bit, I was still in. But now with the fucking neck tattoos, Jordan, I realize I don't like it as much. Magic, Bird, the, Sydney Moncrief, no tattoo. Uh, Olajuwon doesn't have a big, a giant basketball with a halo around it, and Jesus with sneakers. On. It's like Jesus with sneakers on. Did you just have? Did you just have Jesus dunking? As a, as a, can you not have any more crosses on your eyes, you on name, your face? Could you name one old school tattoo? From one, you know yeah, what I mean? That's very curious. Now, like, Kevin, who started the tattoo thing now. in the NBA? I think in 96, okay, 96, so that's Kobe. that's 14 years ago. Kobe didn't have a tattoo until, I'm telling you, until white people hated him for the, for the rape beef. Then he went tattoo. And he tried to, like, MC Hammer his way into black people because <laughs> black people was like, fuck Kobe because he snitched on Shaq and all that. And there's something about him that just niggas don't like. And he tried to put the fucking... Like he nigged himself up a little bit with them mm -hmm. fucking tattoos, and and we wasn't falling for that shit. But <laughs> Kevin Garnett doesn't have any tattoos either. He came in in '96. I think tattoos start and look at his wings and prayers and kings, crowns and, and horse shit to try to like get people to go, hey, you're fucking black. Uh, but <laughs> Garnett doesn't have any, and I think '97, '98, you might start tracing. Tattoos back to around ninety seven ninety. When it really started, getting I don't know who. There, there was probably one happened. year, one there before that, but that's when. Yeah, it really I, I think started something bad, off. bad happened. That seems about right. <laughs> I think Kenya Martin might have. I think Kenya Martin is one of the pioneers of this horseshit. Of the the. Oh, he has his girlfriend's NBA lips tattoo. tattooed, his mama's face, oh, a couple of pistols. It's just he won't stop. <laughs> he just... And like I said, the worst of them all is Jr. And God bless it. I love Jr. But he just has a giant. He just has too many things. What do you mean, Jr. Jr. Smith no, what does from he Denver. have? I mean, 
Dude, he has a giant, I think. Did we talk about yeah, this? Yeah. I'm trying dude, to remember. What was it again? Young Money tattoo. Young Money on his oh, neck. Yeah, it looks like the Yankee. In front of his neck. neck. It looks like the Yankee emblem. It's atrocious, That's right. Man. I forgot about that. And I, you know what I want to do? I want to live to about be 80, at least. So mm. I can see what the fuck Allen Iverson is doing. <laughs> oh, you know at, what? At 80 years old. I just, just, I just say that. I go to the phones here. John and Philly, I don't have to go to them. Iverson started the tattoos. You know what? That might be about right. I, I, and, and Iverson, Iverson came in in 97, eh, right I there. think. I think I'm telling you, trace so it think, back to 97. I think that 97 thing is about right. with, And I think I, I think that guy's onto something. Iverson might have started that whole thing. Because Jordan and them were leaving. Bird, Bird retired in, eight, in 92. Imagine Bird with a tattoo? Of of like... Or Jordan even? Of a, bir of a, of a pigeon shooting a basketball <laughs> with a Jesus halo. Although, like, although, I, I get it. Although the Jordan Hitler mustache, which we start on this show, is now fucking taking over the world uh, did, what the did, hell is he fucking thinking? did you notice that shit yeah it's oh yeah we were the first ones to talk hitler about mustache. Hitler mustache. he's bringing back the hitler mustache if he pulls that off <laughs> i'm gonna tell you something it's the biggest thing of the <laughs> 21st be, century all white people will be like hail jordan if he brings thank that you back. so much for bringing that back like i want to someday be able to just shave off the edges of my mustache and come into work without without having people look at me in a certain way niggas will and his look, uh, Carmelo has it, and I have it too. Mm -hmm. But the 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 seek, here's why Jordan is buck wild. The, the, I have it. You have but, the fate. But, but I then, got, but it kind of goes in. Right, right. Comes you have down a fate, from yeah. the nose. Carmelo has Jordan, that also. Jordan is clean around the Hitler mustache. Jordan is has a clean. fucking <laughs> Hitler mustache. <laughs> <That> is Hitler. <laughs> he put a little fucking Hitler mustache. <laughs> the fuck is he thinking? I mean, he's, he's that's like Jordan, gangster. He that. But you know what? Who's to say? Why not? Let me tell you something. Here's what you bring back. Here's what Hitler... Hitler was a bad motherfucker in the, in the fashion world. <laughs> yeah. The fucking flip bang, too. That flip Hitler bang. Oh, that's, that's coming back to white kids. With the, with the fucking tapered edges. Right. Hitler kept his shit sharp. <laughs> if, he didn't, if he didn't kill six million Jews, man, I think we'd be Hitlering up shit, very man. Very fashionable uh, was a sharp motherfucker. clothing. I think Justin Bieber has that uh, Justin hairdo. Bieber's got the Hitler. Hey, uh... The Hitler sweeping Patrice. hairdo. <laughs> now people are mad because we're not mentioning Rodman. Rodman was tattoo guy too. You know what? Oh, so you got wow. Rodman and you got Iverson. It's but, right around but there. Rodman was looked went, at like a freak. He went crazy. If but you when, look at Detroit, wait a minute. I'm man. I'm a basketball watcher. You look at Detroit Pistons. Did not have that. He didn't have all that shit till ninety six, ninety seven. When he's when he lost his fucking mind. And, and I remember Christ, when Rodman had the tattoos. Up. It looked so out of place on the court. Remember? Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking, all right, I, I think it's down to Rodman and possibly an Iverson thing that started this. I might, I might, I might go with that. I might go with Rodman. And I was all right with it until they started moving up the neck. I'm like, whoa, whoa. But Car but Carl Malone didn't have, oh, have it. None, no. of them, none of the old schoolers had, had tattoos, man. And today he does a video blog, and we'll continue with the Amy abuse, no problem. We'll do a little of uh, both here. He, uh, Pete Diddy does a video blog, and he was jogging. Came in from a run, and he had some good things to oh, say. good. What's up, y'all? It's your boy. Fresh off a run, fresh off a, a good hour and a half workout. Check this out. Um, I'm on the treadmill a day. Just something I want to share with y'all. I'm on the treadmill a day, and, you know, usually when I'm on the treadmill, I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, you know, about all my different um, problems that I have going on, how I'm going to solve them. You know, I'm reflecting on, you know, um, you like know, what song you can rip off and change? Yeah, no what problems do you have? Yeah. <laughs> he's worth what, a hundred million or something? More than that. What, what, he's what probably worth about half Problems. Thing. What problems could you possibly have? What problems? You know, I'm reflecting on, you know, um, you know, what are the obstacles and the mountains I gotta overcome and climb, you know, and mm. you know, I'm just trying to make my list of You already climbed you know, over the really one mountain, the Biggie's wrong, body. You know? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Right to fame and fortune. Sorry. You probably realize he has no more uh, reel to reels of Biggie stuff. <laughs> yeah. That Biggie never uh, recorded. You know, really all the things wrong, you know? Um, but today when I was on the treadmill, as I'm doing that, you know, I'm running. And all of a sudden, I, I start to really hear me running. I, 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 I actually catch myself hearing myself breathe and run. Um, then, like, like I, I look down and I realize that I'm running, you know, I'm actually like running, you know, and, you know, I actually, 
So that's his, like, Jane, Jane, stop this crazy thing. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's genius. I wish I had thought of that. God damn it. I'm like, yo, Jane, Jane. He's like, stop stop this this crazy thing. Stop this crazy thing, man. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Uh, You know, know, I actually have ten fingers and... Ten toes and and I can see. The hell is wrong with him? Like, is is Diddy okay? Like, you know, that right there is um, a miracle that you know I myself you know I, I take for granted. Oh, they call him Z you know, Diddy. <laughs> it's not a miracle. <laughs> so, but you know what? You what know what he's, he's, he's describing is he's he's surrealness is what he's not getting to. He's just he just can't explain. He's he's explaining it. As he's feeling it, but it's just he's having some weird, surreal. He didn't explain anything. But he's happy. But he's. I understand what he's saying. I'm look down. When you just go, wow. Like you're on the treadmill. Like he's on acid or something. You're breathing, you know? and then you start looking at and and really getting into life itself, and like, wow, my muscles are making me move, and yeah, I'm breathing, right. and I'm doing this. But his description of it comes off like a blithering idiot. And on the <laughs> treadmill, how about okay. I look down, I realize I had ten fingers. And five of them were dug into each of JLo's ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a time to make that revelation. <laughs> and my face and nose. <laughs> Yo, James. Uh, <laughs> Damn, man. Yo, James, stop this crazy well, thing. Yeah. Well, we're gonna Yo, get you a- guys just stop this crazy thing. <laughs> we got more to the puzzle. Did he uh, understand that some won't get what he's talking about? So let's. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So whether it? it's, it's running or seeing your children. Or that first breath you take in the morning, what? or having that great woman and that great man, a great mother alive and beside you. First breath you take in the morning is it twelve? It's a lot of things. And one that second. We all take your <laughs> mouth stinks. Even your boy. Um, and I just wanted to come and check in with y'all what? and tell you I just, I just got finished running. You know. He's not I just a runner. Got finished time. breathing. You know I'm alive, and and I could run. There's 40 yeah. hoes who are... Some going. of y'all ain't gonna get this. Some of y'all gonna be hating on the blogs. It's all good. It really wasn't for y'all to get, but... See, it's too for deep for us. That, we get know, it. We hate it. <laughs> Childlike <laughs> observations. <laughs> Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes, knees and toes. Take it, Eyes and ears and a mouth and a nose. <laughs> Shut up! You know, I got Puff, to tell you... Puffy, 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 here's a who. <laughs> I got to tell you, I was, I was on a bus... <laughs> I was on a bus uh, today, and I noticed I was just looking around, getting from one place to another, and I noticed the wheels on the bus, they go round and round, <laughs> round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Some of y'all ain't going to get this. <laughs> we got it. Unfortunately, those ten fingers decided to hit record. When that video <laughs> <laughs> you know, the last part. Get it. Um, I need to get it. Take it. There it is. Let me go back to running. And then he runs off camera. He runs off uh, camera. He's got more running to do. Unfortunately, somebody didn't take the tape out and smash it. He, that was, he had an epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, I, I want to put your hat on your head and smash it with a bat. But <laughs> uh, that's, that is kind of funny. <laughs> epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he needs, though? He needs people in his life who are who like him enough as friends to say and who yeah. aren't afraid to be ostracized. If I put that out yeah. and oh, I showed that to my, the amount of teasing I would take <laughs> from my friends, oh. he, no one's teasing him then. I'm uh, just going like, yeah, I was running. Dig it. Dig it. On my f- ten fingers. I got ten fingers, ten toes. Ten. You're a human. Wow. Yeah. Revelation. That first breath you take when you realize you're in the Hamptons in a thirty thousand square foot home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Worth a hundred million dollars. Uh, yeah. That must be nice. When I was for a summer gas, home, the gas pedal of my Phantom. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, wow, yeah. ten toes is driving this four hundred thousand dollar car. Dig that. Uh, you miss yeah. Biggie? I miss Biggie. He's been dead eleven long years time. Now, man. Right, it's a long time. His stuff is uh, still yes, sir. Good to listen to, man. I didn't know him. <laughs> Oh my God, his stuff's amazing. I listen to him if he's on the radio. But he yeah. did. He was like, he didn't fall like into his a... second fiddle guy. He's just yeah. Think he didn't fall into a genre, man. His music is still timeless. You could throw it on and it, it just kind of works today, right? Oh yeah. 
Uh-huh. 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 Why can't he say breakfast correctly? <laughs> I just assumed he said breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. Why? What's the matter with you? All right. Why? We're getting um, out of here. It's uh, Terry, Steve, and Newman. Yeah, Terry, Steve, and Newman. I think they called Terry Bird. Okay. And uh, this starts with a promo the show uses to show how funny they are. Yeah, like while while the show is running, they go into breaks sometimes with promos of kind of the big laughs that they've had in the past. Okay. And that's what this is. All right. Strap in, kids. Yeah. It's October. Mm. Good morning, Terry Clifford. Well, good morning, Steve House. Oh, this is Terry Clifford. We made fun of her. <laughs> we have? <laughs> yeah, when we were in the running to be the, the biggest show in Rochester. Yes. Oh, yes. right, okay. Wasn't she the piggy pig looking one? <laughs> she's a, she's she has a, a really girl. hot voice, but not real hot voice, but a nice voice, but she's uh, just a mess of a, she's a lady. She's extremely large You remember, Aunt, don't you? Yeah. All right. Good morning, Terry Clifford. Well, good morning, Steve Houseman. And hi, Jeremy. Hi, guys. Well, have a good night. Everything okay in our little world? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Anything we have to tell anyone? Um, why, what do you know? Well, no, no, I just... <laughs> <laughs> The Morning Coffee Club, weekday mornings, 5.30 till 10 a.m. on 92.5 WBE. What? Wait, what, what, what was what, the what, laughing what, for? Why were they laughing? Said, said, said why? What do you know? Like, and then they laughed at that. And then there was a yeah. big like guffaw. But where's the joke? Why? Said anything, anything to tell us about? And say why? Well, maybe. But what do you know? I don't want to get in over my head. Yeah. Because imagine, <sighs> just imagine. Oh, yeah. oh, the crazy. That's you're talking crazy now. Yeah. Oof. Huh. Any examples of the um, <laughs> holy shit <man>. humor? <laughs> what? What, Patrice? Radio just. <laughs> it's well, horrid. that's why we have to do this. It's horrid. They just can't be real. But let me ask you. Uh, ask. Uh, okay. Just don't blow I mean, up our bit. We need uh, 20 more days of this. <laughs> you have a tendency of uh, being so logical. We're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do the bit anymore. Ruined it. Right. That's the All question. right, then, then go. Because I, I can't, no, no, I can't I, tell if no, it is. We're a real show. It's you fine. Guys, you guys have been soldiering for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. How many out of, let's say you, 10 of these, how many out of them are that? Even if you gave them free reign, what do you mean to be funny as they could be, and how many have to be that? Have they to be? Are. No, they're they're really that. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> Wait, just, no. What is Patrice saying? You know we're what I'm saying? Out, you, you, we're you, just you, picking out the bad stuff. Like you know, no, no, no. You know what I'm like? No, like do they you know go, do they go in there and go? Oh fuck! I got to put on this face again. Right? Like if you gave them if you gave them carte blanche, they'd be geniuses. No. They are just <laughs> no because yeah. no why because these th this show we're listening to they think they're geniuses. That's the problem. But geniuses under the fucking under the the, the the umbrella of you have to be not funny. This is as funny as you can be to not offend anybody. Don't yeah. talk about mm -hmm. shit. They they're funny for that. Or um <laughs> or this is it. Even if mm -hmm. you if you put them on XM, that is it. Then they're unloading. No, no. they're just. <laughs> <laughs> They're just unfunny, uh, not creative. They're hacky. They're there's turds. There's, there's oh God! It, remember? Now I remember. Boy, did we make fun of every inch of her. And there sure is a lot. This, she has to be oh. funny. A person that looks like that has to have a sense of humor. That is. I refuse to believe she's not a funny person. Frederica Bimmel. Oh my God! I'm, she's <laughs> even worse than I remember. She looks like. <laughs> she looks like uh, two of the fat ones from the Facts of Life yeah. put together. <laughs> put together. <laughs> two. Two of the fat ones from the Facts of Life. She She's a, a morphed, a morphed version of retarded Laverne and Shirley. Sure. Both of them put together oh, in one good. person. She's so ugly. I got hiccups now. I was laughing yeah. so hard at her ugliness. I'll tell you what she looks like: a f a fat mo from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> a fat mo from The Simpsons. Mo, yeah. mo that owns the bar. Yep. <laughs> Oh, is she awful? <laughs> wow. And we determined she's a flat so. Yeah, which is the worst. She's be very uh, uh, big, Did but she doesn't have uh, big tits, which uh, makes her a flat so. There's a no, lot of. I can see. No, there's a lot I think it's the way the picture's being taken. No, I see them. I see where they at. They're just a little. If you push them up, there will be a nice tit. Why is she a tit? <laughs> Why is she wearing the lace on her arms? Uh, or is know. that just their arms and stretch marks? Well, that's what they're <laughs> selling, Lane Bryant. That's just stretching Lane Bryant, the, yeah. The, the uh, fabric, Anthony. It was. That's what Stephen Carr start. used to wear. Oh, that is Stephen Carr. Holy shit. <laughs> it didn't start as lace.
No. No. All right. Uh, no, Patrice, Rips. there's... There's Holy a head. shit, who's this face? This <laughs> face belongs to somebody, Isn't man. It's haunting great? me. It's haunting me. Well, if you... It, it, first of all, it's a guy's face. Yeah. Yes. I feel like just, at, the, feel like just at the face. It's a manly face. <laughs> she, looks, she looks like a weatherman from... Like, yeah, she just, it's just something going on. Hair. I know her face. Wow. That, is that face is, I think it's John Crook. It's a little Drew Carey. Drew Carey? Little Drew Carey. Yeah, if you just... Uh, all right. <laughs> it's also like Mike from Don and Mike. A little Mike-ish. Yeah. Oh, I know that fucking face. Uh, all right, keep it up there and wow. uh, we'll figure it out. Maybe she was a man. <laughs> mm. A big fat man? God, yeah, maybe. Boy. Damn, no, I know that So face. make me a woman, but don't make me any prettier <laughs> Patrice, than this, this a is, man. This Jocktober thing is easy pickings because most shows suck. There's a handful of shows that mm. get the job done. All right, we uh, continue with the B Morning Coffee Club. Yes, they spent... They're a coffee club, Sam. Well, coffee they're the coffee club. club. That's so nice because, you know, they're on in mornings. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> it's in the truth. <laughs> it's kind of your character. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my God. It's kind of close. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm squinting and covering up her awful oh, wig. Oh, fuck me. Is that a wig? That can't be her real hair. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little Chris Farley, too. A little Farley in her? Holy <laughs> fuck. It's Chris Farley. It's a little Farley. <laughs> Farley. <laughs> Safe to say, she's a beast. All right, uh, Newman. <laughs> Newman talks about getting engaged. We find out whether or not Terry is a whole. Yeah, well, they spent oh. the entire show today because I guess uh, Newman got engaged, you know, to his fiance. But when I was doing radio in Rochester, he was old. <laughs> no, I think there's a different. Must be a different Newman. Uh, all right, it must be. It sounds like a young guy, and uh, yeah, he just got engaged. So they spent four and a half hours talking about. It. <laughs> Wait, what are we looking at? Oh, look at Farley. <laughs> look, at that. Yeah. look at the big one with his head. Yeah, that one's great. Uh, look at Farley. Look at Farley. Farley. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck me, man. It's Tommy. Oh, yuck. That poor woman, man. I can't even do it. I can't join in with you, fellas. This wow. poor woman. This poor woman, man. She is, is she's awful. such a victim, man. It's From, such a victim. This is all Everything she has. on her is awful. This is all I gotta has. listen to this shit because if she's in a uh, drop of nice, I can't join in. All right, oh. this bitch. I know she's overly nice. Oh, this, That's the this, 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 you feel bad. <laughs> you just gotta feel bad. I don't, I don't I give a look shit. Look at this bitch. I don't should, care. She should I'd kick her in the teeth if I could. Yeah, she should go on, Mike, and just like spill her guts out about <laughs> yeah, her problems. Then about how it was growing up, just being right. like the fucking that girl. No one right went there. with her. Unhappiness, yeah. right. would make her a genius. Right. Don't be happy and oh. Because I'm you know, unhappy really for her. It. I'm really unhappy yeah. for her. Talk oh. about high school and how you were just shunned. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like Costello. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. She does look like Costello. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> or, uh, or, or, um, Ollie. Oliver. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, oh. uh, uh, oh. Lauren oh. Hardy. <laughs> I'm God eating damn. another pie. <laughs> She's a fucking mess. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we, uh, Ugh. let's yeah, listen I to the next clip. I gotta hear some of this. All yeah. right. All right. This is the B Morning Coffee Club. It's the coffee mm, club. You yes. drink your coffee with them. All right. Uh, Newman talks about getting engaged. We find out whether or not Terry's a hole. You be the judge based right. on her reaction. We all know the definition of the hole at this point, right? Of course. All right. It's, it's like literally I feel like a different dude from one night to the next. Good for you. I am so happy for the both of you. And she is just a lovely, lovely woman. She is the perfect yeah. woman for you. She's so hot, too, Bird. You've yeah. seen her, right? Yeah, but it's what's inside that counts with her, all right? Nah, not really. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> if is. If she's hot, that helps. Oh. But it's yeah. cool it's and... encourageable. <laughs> Encourageable. <laughs> Encourageable. You know what? I'm going to give that guy a gold star because he's saying how hot this other guy's chick is in front of the big slob. <laughs> <laughs> That's That takes I didn't balls. Even think about that. Yeah, well, listen again, knowing the girl giving all the niceness there is, a, is <laughs> just, just. She's not even a one. No. She's, she's not even on the scale yet. The one to ten scale. It's, it's like literally I feel like a different dude from one night to the next. Good for you. I am so happy for the both of you. Ugh. And she is just a lovely, lovely Listen. woman. She is the perfect yeah. woman for you. Now, the one saying that is, 
have we stressed how awful she is? Yeah, no, uh, I, we can't possibly <laughs> stress how awful she is. And is she the lead person on the show? I don't know. She might be. It might be one of those rare. What's occasions. with the complimenting? Well, I can't be right. happier. Uh, so hot, too, bird. You yeah. seen her, right? Yeah, you hear the oh, dude. God. Oh God! And, and, and she's so hot. Does, does, he, does right he know how thing. it's killing her? Yes. Like talking about hot chicks in front of her oh, it kills you. That's like being like like fat, or way out of shape, and yeah. and girls <laughs> just talking about this guy that's like ripped and stuff. You don't sit there and go, you know, wow, that is great that yeah. he's ripped right. and, and that you find him attractive, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm a, a pig or or. The, <laughs> It's just, uh, she is, it's <laughs> killing her. And she goes, no, it's about what's on the inside. And he goes, no, it's really not. No, it's not. <laughs> the inside. Oh, God, that's her. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It's fucking. It's Oliver Hardy. Oliver Hardy. Hardy she yeah. looks like Oliver right. Hardy with a perm. L listen, she tries to defend that. It's uh, it's about what's inside and, and has <laughs> nothing course. whatsoever to do outside. Of inside. fucking course. Cake. I've said this a million times. You always go for the, the physical attraction uh, first. And especially then, us. And then, Yes, guys, this is what we do. You're, you're looking, wow, she's beautiful, she's hot, whatever. And then you hope that she has something else going mm -hmm. on uh, besides the looks. I'm a fat, funny guy. Let me tell you something. No fat, funny bitch is getting... <laughs> anything out of me yeah my girl loves me because i'm fucking funny and all the other bullshit but you, if some guy with a fucking 12 pack comes around i i get mad when she says she wouldn't fuck him i'm going mm -hmm. bitch yeah. you know do it yeah <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you yeah Fucking Woman for you, She's inside so bird. You yeah. seen her, right? Yeah, but it's what's inside that counts with her. All right, nah, not really. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it if is. She's hot. That helps. Oh, but it's oh, cool it's and encouraging. Hey Terry, why don't we talk about oh, what's inside that you? A, <laughs> a lot of calories. That <laughs> is such the hole. The complete with them. Oh. <laughs> No, it's it's what's inside. inside. She said encourageable. Encourageable. Yeah. Encourageable. That word should be taken away from us. Ugh. You shouldn't be allowed to use that word. <laughs> Along with inappropriate. Encourageable. They are encourageable, though. Steve talks about getting engaged and proves he is an emasculated nobody. Yes. All right. I was well into my 30s, a little older than you, and I was ready to just be a bachelor all my life, and I had this beautiful woman who was at my side all the time. One day, I was still living in Boston, she rings, and I lived on the second floor. She rings the doorbell. I let her in. She knocks on the door. What's the deal? <laughs> I got a life to live. You going to marry me or what? <laughs> and you're sitting there with Vinny. Huh? I was there with my best buddy. We're eating Chinese food and drinking beer. And I said, well, well okay, I'll get married. <laughs> so, you know, not wow, to say the least. Oh All right. God. I said oh yes, by the way. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, uh, with all the laughing she does, you would think she'd be thinner. Yeah, you awesome. think she would be, be burning no, off calories with all that fake laugh that she does. It's a jolly laugh that she has. <laughs> wow. No, she... Oh, okay. Wow, that is demonic. <laughs> and it's everything. Wow. It's like she could do something with the hair, maybe. A maybe she could put on some makeup. I, I don't know. There's just something that could be done there that isn't being done. Contacts. Yes. Contacts. Contacts to lose the glasses. The a little bit. I'm gonna tell you, she is. Uh, she is uh, hopeless in terms of <laughs> fixing. Like she can never come back as. No. It's like Rosie O'Donnell, where uh -huh. nothing she could do. Like there's there's no pretty something in there. No, no. Rosie just decided to go full dyke. But I'm just, it's like, even if, like, losing weight, like, you, she would have to have a complete reconstruction, like, a, her face has to be changed. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It's just her entire everything, like, her head is, is almost like it's growing it, outside of her chest as opposed to on a necklace that's going down in some yeah. weird, um, you ever see, um, the, the dark crystal, the giant birds where, like, it's almost vulture-like, except for you don't see the, the, the vulture neck. She got it's vulture almost, head. The head comes down like a Muppet vulture. Yeah. But it, it's like, even if she lost, there's some people that just have been no. cursed. <laughs> with not prettiness. Oh, God, there hold she on, is with a horse. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I don't want to lose this line. The, the comments are ridiculous. This is why we have the greatest <laughs> listeners in radio. Jay from Florida, how did we miss this one? This must this must be a country station because this woman could never do a morning show on Light FM. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, whack -a -whack -a. shit, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at her body. Holy oh, shit, that's a full body fuck. shot. Look at her fucking... 
I think I, I think I once wore her body to wrestle in a bar once. <laughs> wow. Oh, she lo- okay. Man. She is she retarded? She looks retarded. No. Look at the horses looking at her like you fucking slob. Oh, my oh God. poor lady. Oh, the horse hates her. Dude, her boobs are not even close. Oh, no. to being. she's shaped like a being. croissant. She is. <laughs> that is she's shaped just like Big A. <laughs> Oh, man. She's shaped like a pear. You just feel bad for a woman that, because it's just... There's nothing no. there. Because like, weight loss, it would be strictly for her health. Yeah, like, yeah. It wouldn't be, I'm going to lose weight to, to be hot. A better. It's help just her out. strictly to live longer. You know what? Patrice is right. Her, her arms look too short. Her waist has got to be close to a 60. She's a Her breasts mess. are maybe a 30, uh, like a 30, a 40 A. <laughs> She's a 24, 48, 72. <laughs> She's got like a steroid chin. It is a complete pear. She is shaped like a pear. Oh, poor with, thing. With two big fat legs. How do you get those How, pants? Like, oh, where does she buy her pants? man, this poor woman. <laughs> and that's hair. a young picture of her. So she's been living that... <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you could get high school pictures. She's I mean, that's, still a, the same. That's, a, that's a young picture. Guaranteed, that has she's to be in the 20 dr- years younger than that picture that, that has been up. Drama club, she's probably <laughs> in, and all those things. Oh, oh no. Donkey lips. Oh, that kid. <laughs> Donkey lips. What are we looking Donkey at? Donkey lips. Donkey lips from Salute Your Shorts. Salute Your Shorts, <laughs> an old Nickelodeon show. Yeah. What the fuck? God damn, man. <laughs> she, Patrice is right, though. There is nothing she could do to make herself no. even like, a little Like, better. weight loss is not going to make it better. Like, some people, you just go, oh, <laughs> shit, if she lost weight, she'd be hot. I'm trying to think of a fat woman who'd be hot if she was not fat. And I'm, I, I, like, wow. on, on TV, but I can't think of it right now. Because I, I say Rosie because I look at her going, eh, hey, man. Like, Oprah, if she, Oprah could be hot. Like, she's not hot, but... She knows how she to, would look better. She knows how to present herself. Right, yeah. she's sex. She'd be sexier. This woman has Wait, never. Lost. But had this yeah. is just. This, this woman. woman has never had the feeling of someone being attracted to her. Right, <laughs> never. She does not. She know doesn't what know that what means. it feels like to have somebody <laughs> want to fuck her. Yeah, which go, is nature. Oh, which I wanna, is like I want to uh, fuck you. Yeah, no, no and is, you know what? She would fuck you if you came out of like that. Oh because yeah. Because she has no defense system. Yeah. Against somebody just no. going, I want to fucking fuck you <laughs> right now. I want to bend you over this fucking table and fuck this shit out, you Terry. She'd probably shake and come <laughs> just, just say, from hearing that. Just the, and just emphasize the T and, and Terry. Yeah. <laughs> Terry. And yeah. spell her name T-E-R-R-Y. You, you, you fat bitch. You I just want to fuck your brain her pizza while you're fucking okay. her from behind. You can confuse oh, this oh, one real you, quickly. If you run in and you just like say this table and you just you just, <laughs> you just just slide her fucking her, her soundboard off the thing. Like, you can hear it crash. Yeah. And she would do one of these things and you just rub a crotch through her pants she'd fucking pass out there would be nothing she can do to defend sexual like a a, a real sexual advance a hardcore like beautiful women not to defend that shit all the time like hey hey bitch i want to fuck yeah get out of my face because they you you just go terry hey terry yeah terry terry and she goes, yeah, you know what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah. What do you mean? And she gets that, oh, my God, because she wants to be like every other woman. So, yeah. so she's she's juggling in her head. Um, do I, always I, hear do I, do women I just, say rape yeah. or do I, do I just fuck him? What am I going to do here? I don't want to be a whore. Wait a minute. <laughs> Some dick is coming my way? You fat fuck. Yeah. And just call her that. You choke oh. her. You find her neck, right? Oh. You just lift You find her neck. And you find. grab her. You, you know, grab her by the base of her neck, right? Yeah. And you just push a little bit on the neck. And you just and you just start to shake her face. And her jaws move. And it's just her jaws are moving. And then you just kiss her. Yeah. Oh, that Wait. big fucking pelican head. Can, can I jump in? <laughs> She's the type of woman that would have to do oh. horrific things to be in the sex game. Oh, man. Oh. Like, are you talking like, about... Oh, Oh wow! Oh, Beyond like it balls would, <laughs> deep, like, like, like just, just to the balls and then lick the balls while like, she's gagging. Don't lick the balls like, as she's gagging. Like she's like, fuck! I know he's a serial killer and he's killed twenty, but this is all you know. I have to. Play she, she'd have world. to pull some shit where it's like, look, 
stab me and fuck the stab hole. Right. That would she'd she have looks, to get she some outrageous like she would marry shit. a fucking serial killer. Yeah, like she so. sends letters to the Green River killer and just <laughs> hoping and she's for just attention. there, hoping for attention from a serial killer. Just holding yeah. flowers. She's like she got married in a prison. She just says fat with flowers. Richard Ramirez letters in and, prison. And, and oh, the, she's and definitely and got a fucking, pen pal in the and joint. And the prison chaplain is like fucking standing and marrying her as some guy with a mullet who's in forever. Peter Griffin's. Up there now. Peter Griffin. <laughs> it's Peter Griffin. That's who it is. <laughs> ah, it's Peter Griffin. It's Peter Griffin. Ah, ah, fuck. Ah, ah, you're fat. <laughs> ah, you're Peter Griffin face. Oh, Jesus ah, fucking God. Oh, yeah, that's it. How does Look that at feel, her, fatty? Dude, that's her. <laughs> She's fucking Peter Griffin. I wonder, I'm going to hit on her if I ever see her. Oh, yeah. She would, like, if you just tongue swipe her nips. She just imagine, imagine fucking spreading that fat ass apart and sticking your tongue oh, up her but ass. Imagine she would did shake. It, if you did it with no, like, regard, like you did it like you uh, want to, yeah. like you just fucking take both her meaty ankles uh, and you just know what you're doing, you just push them. Holy like, you don't shit. gently put, you just push them apart and you just move that little meat oh. like you know what you're doing. I fucked oh. a few fat girls, so I just know exactly what to do. And you move that meat and you just rub that clitoris <laughs> and then you find it's just all ready to go. Hey, she'd shake like a, a truck with a broken timing chain. Oh. She'd fucking just <laughs> and you, rattle herself apart. And you grab the, <laughs> and you grab the back of that awful permed up hand. Oh. <laughs> drag her around the room. Pull that shit. <laughs> rip her wig off. And then oh. she calls you the next day like, yeah. you know, like, what? Just, bitch, are you yeah. not well? You know, maybe dinner? <laughs> dinner. Dinner. You drag her to the... Yeah, I mean, you she, bring dinner to so, beat her with a turkey leg. You just... <laughs> she's so she's so desperate for romance, you would drag her to the truck stop and, that's and what make she her wants. blow everybody in the fucking <laughs> That's just what she wants. Blowing the truck. That's how retarded women... A man like that would never think romance. He's thinking, yeah. buy a hooker. She's thinking romance. She thinks there's a guy out there. Because yeah. women are dumb like that. She thinks there's a guy out there that'll love her for her. Yeah. Really, bitch? What can you, you just, do to make me love past that awful media? <laughs> just uh, my girl's gorgeous. I have trouble kissing her just because I've seen her for seven years. So I'm like trying to kiss her, and she's gorgeous. But this mess after a month of looking at you with love, you just want to punch her right where, just well, right where there's no nerves. I hate. Oh, I God. hate to. Uh, spoil the party here, but uh, the next track, she's married. She's married, all right. Oh Holy no! Shit. Find her husband. She's married. Is there any way we no can find her husband on a website? fucking way. I don't know. She's uh, got a blog. Let's find this out here. The blog. More of, <laughs> more of the Bean Morning Coffee Club up there in Rochester, New York. Bert, I'm sure yours was just the typical beautiful moment. Well, it was for us, of course. Yeah. Uh, we were at the Loose Caboose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Loose Caboose, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the loose caboose. The loose caboose. That's what happens after you eat fucking Mexican and drink too much. You get a loose caboose in the morning. <laughs> so she was at the loose caboose? Yeah. Is that where her wedding was? Booze. Oh. It was a restaurant in Webster. Ah! It was a restaurant in Webster, train it was. themed. Okay, All you were right. watching a movie. What, did she marry a train? What? <laughs> Huh. Loose caboose. I got loose caboose in Webster. Yuck. It's a restaurant in Webster. Restaurant. Train theme. You can't be away from the right. watching a movie. No. Is, was that the one with Uncle Joe in it? No. And he wasn't moving kind of slow <laughs> either. Coke Junction. Oh, you're so rude. The loose caboose. It was a wonderful oh, a little hole. restaurant. I'm sure many people remember it. Anyway. No, because. Uh, uh. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. He's mar Some guy has to say, and this is my wife. <laughs> Holy fuck. Some guy balls. has to go out and go, and this is my that, wife. The only point, half the reason that women exist is to be an object, right? Can mm -hmm. you imagine if your wife was just <laughs> that was the all love? Like, you, it had to be entirely love. Right. Like, 100%. Half, of my, half of my girl's point is that I flash her around. Some other guy wants to fuck her badly. Mm. Like, really badly. Like, my bitch... Like you walk down the street and you and guys want to fuck your bitch and you're like yes you want to fuck her and I don't want to even look at her and you want a bad you'd give me your wife to fuck my wife this guy has no bargaining chip it's a hundred percent it's all love love it's all, can you imagine your whole existence is based on I love you 
I love my wife. That's that's your you you have to love her to get on top of her and just your dick has to get hard. You, your dick has to get hard. Maybe she was volunteering and tearing at the the blind camp like in mask. You have to you have to, you have to risk you have to risk having a heart attack with the Viagra. Like you risk Viagra for a bad bitch. If your dick wasn't working quite well, you go, damn, this bitch is bad. I gotta keep her happy or she's gonna fuck other men. But you don't even have a bargaining chip. If you want to go swing, like if you have your woman, <laughs> oh God, you bring that to trade for his woman. You're getting someone's dog. Like she's, she's tradable like, with someone's fucking pet. <laughs> right, right. Horse. You just horse want to or... kick her right in the all pussy. Sudden, like you just want. To, all, like, the, all of a sudden, yeah, all right. You can fuck uh, the chick that I brought, but I'm just gonna kick her in her pussy <laughs> the entire time you're Sir, fucking you mind, the girl can, I brought. Look, you see my girl. Treat her the way you think a woman should be treated. Do me a favor. You, I, I'll fuck with your woman, but I'm, I want to stomp all over this pig. <laughs> I want her to snort. I want her to do piggy things. Like the only. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just walk her around. She was also she was also voted Mother of the Year. Oh fuck! Oh, she has boy. a kid. She has a kid that gave oh, a great speech. Jesus. There's a video of the kid giving a speech. Oh, see, that's oh, terrible. Oh, that's well, terrible. Let's move on. Terry continues her story about the caboose thing. Yeah. And um, and the guys continue their brand of humor. Ooh. We were there and having a lovely dinner and um, there chicken was wings. A, no. He's a salad wrap. Might have been chicken, though. I, I generally ordered... Like an, an ostrich. <laughs> no. <laughs> Something <Pardon>. trophy. <laughs> just, <laughs> you know, it was just, just huge, a huge portion. Just a gi one of those giant meatballs. <laughs> yeah. like, not even little ones. Like, I enjoy little meatballs in my spaghetti. Yeah. But just a giant, <laughs> one giant meatball that was rolled up like with she, onions in it. Uh, she calls meatloaf meatballs. <laughs> yeah. Just a, meatballs. Just spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti and meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> One of those uh, Renaissance Fair turkey legs. Yeah, turkey leg like fucking Henry VIII, who was prettier than she is. Look at that fucking retard bang haircut she's got. Oh, she's getting thing. into a cop car. Well, because she's They're arresting wrong. her for upsetting the fucking gravitational pull of the planet. <laughs> oh, this poor lady. Come on, man. You know man. how they arrest you. It's Damn all, it. yeah. it's all oh, fun. Boy, she's laughing. It's for charity. Oh, oh, I hope someone bails me out. Oh. <laughs> Right. Wow, what a mess. I can't order. <laughs> no. All right, wait, 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 wait. We'll start over here. We Hold missed on. a good joke. All right. We were there and having a lovely dinner. And um, there chicken was Chicken wings? No. Caesar salad wrap? Might have been chicken, though. I, I generally ordered. <laughs> no. Tilapia crusted in there. Right, that's enough. <laughs> you can't get the ribs. I want your fingers to be clean. <laughs> Or I'll sit on ya. Yeah. yeah, you want to hear about it or don't ya? Don't ya? She isn't. She's too fucking gruesome to have that attitude. Like, hey, settle down. Mm -hmm. Like, shut up, Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> She's too fat to be Ernest, sassy. Ernest yeah, Borgnine. much too fat to be sassy. So she, she that got... fucking hair looks like a <laughs> divot. It looks like someone fucking swung too deep, <laughs> made a divot, and someone picked up the divot and off the golf course and, said, and put it on her head. Look, this will make you look better. It spray painted it brown. <laughs> right. Here is your divot hair. <laughs> her chin is wider than the top of her head. Yeah! She's got like Zippy the Pinheads look going. <laughs> What a gruesome, gruesome person. Her hair looks like one of those old leather football helmets that they used to have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like an old Indy car race helmet. Uh. One of those. <laughs> oh, the old four horseman head. Oh, is she <laughs> awful. Every new picture is more gruesome than the last. Oh, Newt Rockney head. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore writes, uh, who took those photos of Terry? Google Earth? <laughs> <laughs> She has, like, I couldn't even picture doing anything. There it is, the old it's leather the, foot. There's her hair. It's Terry it's an old Notre Dame uh, leather football helmet. You know, Sergeant G brings up a good line on his feedback from Iraq. He writes, are they making fat jokes? They may have just turned me a little bit. They're making fun of her fatness, uh, Sam. Um, but they don't dare make fun of her ugliness. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Right, she finishes the story, finally, of when she got engaged. There was a piano player there, and he was and so he started went over playing and asked her. him to. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice, Sam. Wow. Sam can't get the leather helmet on because it's his big fucking afro. <laughs> real hair. That's fucking cool, man. Is that a that's a real replica? 
Yeah, it's that's a real replica. Data, huh? That's cool as shit. How do you play football in that fucking thing? Imagine those going were, out in the field now. And those were like, tough motherfuckers. Yeah, man. running they in fast figure out motion something on something better film. than the leather helmet. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Well, because you really a a, you know what a real tackle has nothing to do with your head. Yeah. Because guys play rugby with nothing. So yeah. I mean, ultimately, you're not supposed to. You know. They didn't have like. That's, that's cool though. Space age polymers. <laughs> yeah, they had to fucking wait for that shit. Here's something called plastic. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. I feel uh, bad that woman is such a victim. Oh, is she? <laughs> Pen Gillette, they're saying, too. She looks uh, like a little fat pen. Right, you want to hear the end of the engagement story? Please. Or what? Or what? Or what? All right. There yeah. was a piano player there, and he was. Bood went over and asked him to play uh, my favorite song from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, oh my darling, oh, Clemens. <laughs> It's a small no. one. <laughs> no. Ding dong, the, scene, the witch is dead. <laughs> the scene where she landed on the witch. <laughs> We're, we're laughing our balls off as the Dow's down 500 points now. Holy shit. Below 10,000 for the first time in four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 98.30. Yeah. Down 495. Told you, Andrew. It's a small no. one. <laughs> no. The ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> God, I can't remember the name. Over the rainbow. Oh. All right, over the rainbow, somewhere over the rainbow. And he, with, as soon as the um, song started, I went, oh, my gosh. And he got... Down on one knee in front of the restaurant, and he asked me to marry him. It was wonderful. Oh. It was wonderful. Wake up, you sleepy head. All right, that's now my favorite song. Oh, my God. Oh, now. Wicked Witch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, now. Wicked Witch. He's dead. Got down on one knee, had a look at those big <laughs> fucking thighs. Imagine trying to see her head. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> where'd, you, where'd you go? <laughs> oh. He took that fucking barrel ring and put it on her finger. <laughs> and she can't even see her own vagina, so she probably no. shaves it like 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 old guys shave their beard where there's, there's she still ain't patches. shaving there's still shit. Patches. <laughs> she doesn't see it. Why shave it? Uh, you know that's just a wreck down there. Uh, let's say hi to uh, Sean in Rochester. Sean, the home of Brother Weeze, of course. What do you got, Sean? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. I've met her daughter, mm -hmm. like, at some park event where the radio went down and did their thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, her daughter's smoking hot. Dude, I'll tell you something. I, I went out with a, a girl. My brother went out with uh, one of her sisters. Friends of mine went out. It was like a family of just these fucking girls. And the mother was atrocious. Yeah. <laughs> fucking slob. And, and, and just, she kind of looked like her, like Terry. Mm -hmm. And the daughter's smoking hot. How does that happen? All skinny fucking blondes, just really hot. And uh, the mother was a disaster. She couldn't fucking move. She sat in the, this one chair and just stunk the whole room up like B.O. Because she couldn't fucking sh wash or something. So, And I would come in and I was working at um, Dan's Bakery at the time. Yeah, making bread. So I would always make sure to get a bunch of bread and, when I was going over there. And then I would just give it to her. And she'd be like, oh, thank you. Some Italian bread. It's like, yeah, it's Italian bread. Right. I'm going to go ravage one of your fucking daughters. But she was a big, like, slob. Smoking hot how, though? What's, tell her, tell him give her a little more detail. What's smoking hot? What's mm. she looking like? Yeah. She's Dude. like, uh, probably like, you know, 5'7". She's got a nice rack, dark hair, like, uh, like hazel green eyes. Yeah, it's definitely Couldn't possible. Her daughter, but, you know, that's, that's how we roll in Rochester. You, you ever walk around? Well, we produce good-looking kids, and then all the kids leave. <laughs> there you go. Cool. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, buddy. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> October's still a hit, though, Sam. October. So the B-Morning Coffee Club, huh? Yeah, it's the B-Morning Coffee Club. We barely listened to the audio. We couldn't get past the fucking publicity shot. I love October. Yeah. Whew. What are you working on for tomorrow? Uh, I don't I'd really like to find something in Boston. Mm -hmm. We just spent so much time just bashing the hell out of, out of that woman. Well, you have to. <laughs> I know. That's the best oh. part of October, just attacking people. I don't know. Yeah, why. I don't know for no reason. But yeah, that's to. why. That's why Sam loves it so much. That's how he lives his life. Why else? Why else is she walking around the earth? Just to be attacked, right? Yeah, she can't possibly be in, be doing any good out there. No. Oh my God, five hundred fifty-two points down. Oh, it's pushing. It was. Oh boy. Oh, this. Is 
really, really going to be bad. They're saying it's the whole world. Oh. Yeah. So if it's the whole world economy, can we all just get together and go? All right. All right this, is new, this, this is our right. new. This is our new economy. Do you even know? Economy. Do you know what economy at all? Like. Why can't the world just go, you know what? We're all rich. Right. We all live in, in a place and we all eat. Like, we, yeah. I don't get, I don't understand why the world doesn't come together. Like, How can the world come to decide we're finished? Who, yeah. Like, what is, like, we're done. Who's policing the world? Just get yeah. together and go, all right, look, we got issues. So let's, let's all make believe the issues are no more. There you go. Dude, this is all Just bullshit. decide. Ready? You know what? Instead of gold, it's... It's crumb cake crumbs <laughs> are, are our basis for money. Like, I've never understood what the fuck that means. You just decided gold. gold? How about, how gold. about dirt? Yeah. Like, what, what the gold fuck are you talking about? Gold is just fucking rocks. How about aluminum? Aluminum be yeah. nice. Yeah. You know what? I don't even understand that shit. How, how can the world economy hey, crash? What does wait. that mean? It is Pot Talk Monday. So let's say dirt becomes the currency. What happens to the earth? Oh my what? god, you just start digging it up. Well, we're human. But not the currency, we're, but the. We're the such the awful humans, we wouldn't even acknowledge that we're just, you know, destroying <laughs> the land. Yeah. We would just take every possible piece of dirt we could. <laughs> until there's no earth No left. dirt left. <laughs> right. Or it would be left, of course, but it would be in big piles that you can't do anything with. It, this is all j bullshit. This is, I think, a bunch of, uh, you know, high rollers mm -hmm. that run the market. Mm hmm. Um, figuring out ways to make a lot of money mm -hmm. because there's no real panic here. I mean, this isn't this isn't the average Joe panic selling. The average Joe already sold his shit or is is hunkering down. This isn't somebody like, oh my God, sell. These are motherfuckers that are driving this market down 500 fucking points, and tomorrow this fucking market's gonna go up. And whoever is 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 uh, buying right now. We'll sell that shit off tomorrow yeah, and make everybody, money. Everybody who suffered already did. You know what? Yeah. Everybody got anybody who's going to get fired got fired already. Yeah. I'm oh, buying man. something today. Yeah. Buy. I don't know what. I'm yet. buying fucking. I'm, I'm buying. In my humble today. opinion, buy I'm just going to buy something. What do you want? I'll buy you a couple shirts. Buying on E Trade right <laughs> now. Some, some suits. I some suit jackets. No, I got to ask. A, <laughs> I got some people uh, that I could go to. L legit, and I'm going to buy something you know today. What? I want a diamond Raymond Wild watch. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Go mug somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the one I'm buying. Those those are the options I'm fucking go getting into Apple? today. Apple? You're going to go perhaps, with Apple? Perhaps. Why don't you, well, I'm just asking. I see Apple up on Here's CNN. what you do. Just, Here's what somebody told me. As long as it, we have a, a universe, <laughs> we, as long as this thing's being invented, you know who, who's going to always win? Someone who fixes shit. Mm. So if you if you invest on people who fix the upcoming shit, the you you know what you sound like right now? You sound like someone's dad sitting the kid down for a talk because he's a shitty repairman, <laughs> and and the son wants to know. You know, son, repairing things is very important. But you invest. I do I do important invest things. Invest in a big company that f what is going to fix the next big thing. I build I, things. Do you I, know how important that iPod is? iPod fixing technology iPod what, fixing technology. iPod fixing. It's nah. called going to the Apple store and saying this fucking thing doesn't work, and they give you a new one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, they, they, they're not about no fixing that fucking thing. They're not even fixing to open it up. That's why I don't. Uh, that's why. <laughs> that's you know, I, yeah. They come up with a new one every six months. They don't want you. If you can go back iPods. in time, find one screw that what? opens that go, fucking if thing. If you can go back in time, yeah. What would you have invested in? Oh fuck. Uh, let's say, twenty years ago. No, what it was. Um, 20 years ago? Yeah. Fucking, uh... Apple. Uh, Apple, of course. Apple. Would be good. Microsoft. Microsoft, Microsoft any of the computer technology. Even would've... back then, Yahoo. Here's, uh... And then wait until, you know, the bubble and then sell and... We... Let I, me tell you something. Of course, in... if you couldn't gonna do that, I would just get the sports almanac. Yeah. Uh, I would take from 1955. All, I would take all the names. Oh, I, would I would take the web oh. names. And then go back in time. You don't need to use the market. No, no. You I just mean, uh, I, I use the sports I would take web that. names, man. Biff Tannen made a oh, fortune. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been to the Biff Tannen uh, museum. You went? Yeah, and uh, he made a fortune apparently with his sports almanac. Uh, just uh, came off looking like a lucky guy. Wait, he had made enough money that he had like a robot of himself in front of his house. Yes, in front of his uh, house, and then the the courthouse, building a giant hotel, a yeah. casino, a hotel over it. 
uh, amazing what he did just with the sports almanac. Yeah, no market. It was just all the uh, you know OTB and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's How about Viagra? Fifth ten, a very uh, smart man. Yeah, I didn't do shit. Oh, yes, uh, Patrice. Yes. How about Viagra? <laughs> Vi invest in Viagra. Who puts that out? I don't know. Pharmaceutical. Pfizer? Yeah, Pfizer's a good pharmaceutical That would have been good 20 years ago, maybe. Sure. Let's, uh... time. We could maybe do one more thing and get out of here. That was terrific, though, Sam. Yeah. Well, the Hillman's always a go-to show in Boston as far as hackery goes. Let's do Hillman, then. Or Matt Siegel. I think he's on Kiss. Can I take off my Terry wig? Yeah, it's... Terry Clifford. Uh, she was having fun with her fatness in there somewhere. <laughs> you know she's crying inside, though. Who are we kidding? Of course she is. Uh, hey, bitch, let me explain to you why I say bitch, man. School of... Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's just a belief system. It's just to say to you that I'm going to say a word that you don't like. And you're not going to do anything about it. And that that's a dichotomy for all man shit. Is that the word bitch represents something that's so repugnant to women but the fact is I choose to say it or choose not to that's the amount of respect that you earn from me it's not the amount of respect that you automatically are entitled to you're not entitled to the door being open you're not entitled to me laying my good coat on a puddle you're not entitled to me wrestling an alligator to save your life it's desire that's all that's what the word bitch is just to let you know hey bitch and you go don't be calling me no bitch and you go okay bitch now what What's option two? That's all I want to say. I want to give you options to make me not want to call you a bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Do you love your mother? I love my mother to death. You understand? But that has nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? Like I said one time, that's my mother. Like, my mother used to be somebody's bitch. He was my, you know, my mother had boyfriends. And they had to deal with my mother's bullshit. My mother knows what she used to do to guys sometimes. She would tell me. She would fuck with their manhood. She made my, girl, my sister's father throw a fan at her. She told me that story. Wow. Made him so, tussed his man so much, threw a fucking fan at her. Because she boiled him down to what he had over her, which is manness, physicality. And that's what I'm trying to help dudes to not have to ever c conquer your woman with physicality, man. You have to try to conquer them with logic and make them look at you like, you know what? I'm going to follow this guy because he knows where he's going. You know what I'm saying? But when a woman don't respect you, they test your manhood constantly, dude. It's, it wears you out. But I'm going to tell you what, soldier. If, 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 if It's just like fighting a terrorist, man. You're going to stop? You're going to stop? You're going to take a break? They don't take a break. You understand? They, they out there trying to figure out how to kill us with orange juice and fucking Gatorade <laughs> and lotion. And they, they don't take a break. And that's what women are. They are fucking insurgents <laughs> making improvised explosive devices. <laughs> and, and the day you go, I don't feel like checking Boom. for mine. <laughs> I'm tired. Bah! Fingerless motherfucker. <laughs> you understand? Yes. You fingerless nigga. You are... F <laughs> You're sitting there Never like stop. you can't be tired. You're dealing with the the worst terrorists there are. Women. They're brutal. And here's what makes them the brutalist is that they don't do it maliciously. You organic. understand? It's organic. It's an organic fucking response. It, it, it's, it's 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 like instinct. It's instinct. Thank yeah. you. It's like it's like if you have a a a, a pet a pet. A rattlesnake. That's what you gotta bites. always know that it's gonna bite you. You be like, damn, this don't this motherfucker know I feed it every day. I got fish that don't give a fuck about me except for I, I feed them. That's when they come to the glass. And then when I go to the glass and tap the glass or I do something like I, I'm trying to have some bonding with them, they swim away like I'm any other nigga. <laughs> and they'll take food from anybody. That's what, look, no man, loyalty. Th that's what I'm saying, man. Women do things instinctively. I'm not saying that they're disloyal, but they do things with this instinctive level, and they bash you down, and it's not, it's not because they want to. And that's the thing. It's like, going back to the terrorist thing, it's like you are fighting somebody with an ideal, an ideolo a ideology, a fucking a, 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 a philosophy about uh, uh, killing you. And all you doing is going to work. I'm the TSA guy at the airport. All I want to do is go to work and check for for, for the, the for, the, for the belt buckle and the chain and the watch and the, and take your cell phone out the pocket. That's all I want to do. And I'm trying to fight that ethic versus 
uh, it's not even an ethic. A it's belief. just a, a belief it's, system. It's, I am fighting somebody with a belief system. You, this is what I'm saying, fellas. You got to get a belief system in, into and your stick happiness. With it, and stick with it. And, and, and make it unconscious. Make it a, an unconscious, natural thing. That's when women will start to get the point where if they start doing their shit, don't they, you don't think, man, let me tell you something, man. I, I'm getting going again. Because I've been with my girl and not getting no other pussy and, and, and being decent and this, that, and the third. And it takes away your fangs. I start pulling my fang out. Uh, you know, I'm going to take rusty. it out. <laughs> I don't need to. Like, I start saying, damn, I'm not even mad no more. I'm like, honey, get me. He was over my crib. <laughs> my, me, my man, uh, uh, him, David. and Gavin. Two big niggas and my girl and, and me. And we chilling in my, in my house made for niggas. And my girl's like, yeah, you guys need water and... I'm like, yeah, she's bringing out everybody some water. We eating steaks, and she's upstairs not bugging me. And I'm sitting there and going, we're like, when are you going to get rid of this bitch? <laughs> Boy, you got yourself a good woman. When this bitch going to get out of here so we can have an orgy, nigga? I want to fuck on top of this television. And I'm sitting there like, hey, fellas, ain't she a great girl? <laughs> Give a fuck about that. But it take it does fuck with you, man, when the man. girl relentlessly will not let you. She just will love you till you go. Uh, that's the that's the that's the sound. Once you say I'm gonna be in love, I love my girl, but dude, I got to stay on her, man. I got to watch her every second of the day, cause she will do something unconscious until I'm an unattractive motherfucker, man. The, her attractiveness to me is that I'm a she, I'm it's a your strength. It's your strength that makes you attractive. As soon as you change, it's it. I out logic her, man. She can't out logic. There's been times she goes, forget it. I just give up. Cause all you're gonna do, this is her. All I'm gonna do when we argue so I'm is turn it around so that she feels wrong. That's how. That's why she think now. All you're gonna do is make me feel like I'm wrong, that's which is that's just as dumb as I've ever heard. That's second degree black belt though. But, but she just gave up, but in a in a tricky way. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what she did one day when I was feeling soft. She goes like this. She says some shit. I forgot what she said. She said, um. Yeah, something, something. It was something that I should have checked her on, and I didn't. And then I said, uh-oh, wait a minute. Let me check her. Right? What'd you say, bitch? Did you just say? And then she goes, I thought you were going, let me get away with that shit. <laughs> she karate kicked me, and I didn't know. And she thought that shit hit me and knocked me out. And she, she was now looking forward to the next level mm -hmm. of taking my shit so that she can feel comfortable, dude. She hates me, but she loves me. <laughs> but she loves hating me, dude. Does that make sense? Yes, she it loves does. the passion that her hatred for me has. It gives her passion. Let me tell you something. I tell my girl, if you ever in your life yell at another guy, you might as well go with him. If you if some guy you don't know evokes passion in you that you yelling and screaming and you hate some other fucking dude that that let me tell you women's hatred is just like love it's the same thing as passion if a girl has indifference towards you like if a chick if girls aren't getting mad at me right for saying what I'm saying this is a useless show <clears throat> you got to have them if they sit there and go and dismiss me like Okay, turn from this. This guy's just corny. Not turn from this, fuck him, or turn from this, what is he talking about? But turn, like, boring, and really believe that? That's a chick that's lost. She's like, fuck you. When your girl gets like that, and some guy in the streets can evoke, like, Passion. anger in my girl? Nigga, you know what I put my girl through to make her angry? Nigga, anger, and she loves me, so you don't give out your emotions frivolously, motherfucker. You give your emotions... You be selective. You don't be hating nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's I'm telling you, it's constant. It never stops, dude. I'm telling y'all, fellas, it never stops. You can't rest. Because they pretend that what they're doing is not malicious, and it's not. It's just nature. And so we have to be diligent and purposeful to combat their their fucking belief system. You have to be on guard. The most the most you could hope for is a couple of months rest. Where she's and not trying to get her belt. In between the, belts. <laughs> where she calls you master. Most, yes, master. But believe me, you're gonna get challenged. Like my I'm I, you know, I'm diabetic man, right? I'm I my, I'm trying to get my health right. And that is a thing that keeps her in control. Like the fact that she loves me enough to make me take care of my health 
So take your pills. Did you take your pills? It's it's because I can't go, bitch. Stop caring about my health. Mind your motherfucking business. I'll have a heart attack if I feel like it, ho. That don't make no sense for me to do that. But that that's a thing that keeps her in this state of, like, mm. that's my way to find a way to Control. to say something that that he has to listen to. And, and, and I can gain some type of command, and I look at her to let her know that's what she's doing so that she can go, look, I love you, just please take, you know, like, where it's like, all right, it, it, it gives me a desire beyond myself because it's hard for yourself sometimes to take care of yourself. So, you know, it's like men are like have this ego, like, even like with the mother thing, I, you know, I don't want to make my mom look like a bad person, but if she goes, she, she says to me, do something, and it's right. I don't want to just say no. Cause she's telling me, you know what I mean. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you, as a man, you go get the get out of here, man. I I, I handle everything, but sometimes you go, okay, I'll, I'll release myself, as long as you don't get abusive. Which is what happens to women; they become abusive as soon as they get a a in. As soon as you give them an inch, they take a mile. They can't help it. But you can't be mad about it. You can't hit them. You can't choke them. You can't yell at them. You have to. Be diligent till they get the option in their head of, okay, they have to think first, okay, the shit, am I getting ready to do some righteous shit or am I getting ready to do some drama shit just to get his attention? Because it's not worth what's going to happen because if I need to talk to my girl for an hour, I talk to her for five till she's like, (laughs) I'm going to die listening to this nigga. She can't out argue me. I'm gonna out. I'm gonna find a way. Cause two things. One, I feel like I'm right. Two, I'm a guy and we're competitive. I'm not gonna lose to you as a girl. Are you think I'm gonna let you out argue me? Never. I will. I will. I will do anything to make your point stupid. The sun shines. No, it don't, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shine you know it's just you, you've got to be like that dude sometimes like if you're raising a child sometimes eight and you know man yeah. sometimes eight out of the ten you might be right eight times and two times you are horribly wrong but it it's worth it to be right the eight times yeah. and then sneak in that you are wrong the other two by buying them a goofy doll or you know give them a, a ice cream sandwich hey, sorry that's your sorry but the eight times you need it you need that shit man you from florida daryl yeah, Daryl. Daryl from Florida. Daryl, what's up, man? How's it going, Patrice? How are you, sir? Are you black just, or white? A white Daryl? Yeah, I'm a white Daryl. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? You got a hard time. <laughs> Fuck you up in clan country with a name like Daryl. Change your name to <laughs> Mickey or so. What's up, man? Uh, I just had a follow-up to Joe from Phoenix question. Uh, is there any way to get out of the friend zone with a chick other than drop the bitch. So basically your your what is your what is your uh 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 what, what are you trying to do? What do you want to do? What's your ultimate goal? You want to get rid of her or you want to sleep with her? Sleep with her. Toss the toss the the chessboard in the air. You losing? You it's you, almost you checkmate. You, do, you have that take your ball. Here's the thing. I and I agree with you. We we argue about this a lot. Is a is Dante look goes, "Look, Take your ball and go. Like, if the game's getting hardcore, take it and go. I say like this, man. I, I say you 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 don't play. You don't even play. You don't even let nobody know you have a ball. Once you... All right. Because I've been like this before. I've been in the friend zone. It's First of all, it's pathetic. Second of all, you're starting off... Two cars behind, say you're driving down a one-way street, and, 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 and it's a small one-way street, and once you got two cars behind, man, I'm telling you what happens is as you're slowing down and she's moving ahead, you could get three cars behind because a lot of times somebody pulls out in front of the you, and you got now you're three cars behind, you know, emotionally. And let me tell you, man, about this is what I mean about the abuse thing, Daryl. What women are going to do is they, it's like children, I'm telling you. Is that once they they don't know what satisfies them. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. They they don't know what's satisfying to them. So the abuse they give you that works when they when she knows that you are gonna be the guy that hangs around 
and is going to be unhappy about not getting the pussy but still hang around she does it's it's like it's like a when you do comedy okay and I, I, I've been doing comedy a long time let me tell you something about my theory on bombing okay when you bomb you don't try to pull out of it by making the crowd happier trying harder you get out of it by making it worse you just you just take two grenades and you toss them into the ground and you kill everybody because what you don't want is to give the audience the power to know that they can affect you because they will not do what you think humans do which is go oh he's having a bad time let's help him through this they go ooh I get to take my foot and run it in his neck and and, and control him and have him beg for mercy <laughs> and they will fucking let you flail so what you do is go I control my destiny here's what you gotta do and I'm gonna tell you you started off backwards there's no way to turn that around except for, like Dante said, take the chessboard and throw it in the air and start all over. I don't know with her, but you cannot start behind, dude. You cannot. Let me tell you something. You can't play a basketball game and spot the, the opponent 20 points. You can't do that. That's what women want you to do. They not only want you to say what's not important to you, but they're going to tell you what's important to them, dude. And what this does, and this is the other dude, Joe, it makes them, it make, it doesn't make them go, I want him. It makes them go, yeah. I'm going to control this guy because he's a pussy, and I want this type of thing in my life. Who's gonna hey, who's gonna come in and, and, and plug the VCR up or that plug the DVD work. play up in those What's all that? those holes in the back of the um the LCDs <laughs> now? Who's gonna come and move her refrigerator so that she can sweep it in the back of it? Who gonna do that? You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you understand, Daryl? You What what is Daryl, what are you doing for her? Like if you had to list the things that you are you doing those things? Are you are you of moving the refrigerator and this? Uh, are you well, talking no, to her? No, no, no. It, it used to be where she would call up and I, I'd be like uh, chilling with, the, with some friends and she'd be like, hey, let's meet up and I'd go. But now I've moved away and uh, I come back very seldomly. And uh, she called me up this past weekend and she's like, uh, you know, I can't do anything. And then she calls me up later that night, and she's like, oh, yeah, I can go out. But I said, you know, I'm chilling with some friends. I can't go. And uh, then I'm like, let's have dinner. And she's like, all right. So she calls me the next day. She's like, I can't have dinner. And I just don't I don't return the phone calls. I, I'm not going to play. You, you got to. Here's, here's the first thing. You Wait a minute, though. But he I has, know what the problem is. You know what, is. though? He, here's what happened. He comes back as the same guy after. That's after, that's you right. know that's what's yeah. a, dude. You you, you know you you're not far from actually kind of getting a because she she felt the pressure of you not and then being you let there. Up. You let up. That's but right. but when you came around, you you you. Here's what you need to mix it with. You 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 you, you came back where you left off. But here's what well, here's you know, when I when I left, I'd go. Whenever she called, I'd be like, she'd be like, let's hang out. I'd be like, all right, no matter what I was doing. But this time it was, you know, she called me up like, hey, let's go have a have a pint or whatever. And I was like, you know, I can. I'm chilling with friends. I'm not going to meet you. So well, it's not. I don't. Think no, it's no, that's one thing. But I'm not going. That's one thing. But when you talk to her, you're probably still the same guy. You're probably, you know, still being like a, a friend type guy to her instead of yeah. instead of instead of being the jerk that you need to be. You have to be a totally different person once you come back. Well, to wait a minute! No, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute! She's yeah. never gonna sleep with him. Probably not. No, no. she will. I've got. But no, here, she's not gonna. You got she Vaughn. Vaughn. Dude, you got Vaughn. She will sleep with you. But here's the. This is the fucking problem you're having, dude. Yeah. This is the problem you're having. Listen, she. She felt the press because you said he said he moved away. She felt yeah, I did. The, she felt the pressure. Now that helped you because I already know if you were staying around her, you'd still be her little sweet thing. You should yeah. still have you bent over a chair. But the fact yep. that you left helped you a lot. She felt the pressure of you not being there. But here's the issue that you have to understand. <laughs> you have to now be willing to take a L mm. because this is the thing before you didn't know where you stood now you know where you stand she cares about you a little bit but you have to let her know see this is the thing you have to explain to her what her vagina means to you 
You have to explain that your vagina means nothing and it means everything. What that means is this, man, is that the vagina is like, okay, if you go to eat dinner, right, and somebody yeah. gives you a fork, is that is that a special thing that the guy gives you a fork to eat your meal with? It's not special, for the course. but it's important and it's essential. You understand what I'm saying? You got to let a woman know her pussy's a fork. You got to let her know that, that yes, sweetie, I need to eat with it. It's, it's important, but it ain't special to me. It don't mean what you think it means. What it does is makes me like you now. It, ma it consummates what you mean to me. It, it's, it's, it's like a wheels on a car. You can't drive a car without wheels, but you don't look at wheels and go, these are special. You go, I need the wheels, nigga. I got to drive my car. But you don't go, these wheels are my, I love these wheels. It's like you got to let her know, dude, that holding you hostage, like I said, they're terrorists. She's holding yeah. you hostage with the idea of pussy. There's two things you got to do, dude. You got to give her some medicine. You understand? Medicine in the form of honesty. Women hate honesty. It's like, it's like eating the worst castor oil in the world for her. You go, look. I've been wanting to fuck you for a long time, man. This I told my girl this shit. Because she we were friends. We were really friends. And I told her we were friends. I said, look, I should be trying to fuck you, but you know what? You're such a fucking loser. Now, I'm going to be your friend because you need a friend. And I would give all kind of honesty. She'd be crying. <laughs> and I'd be like, what you crying for? There's no, did, who, did no one ever talk to you about you, how fucked up you are? So she started treating me like a guy that was being her friend just to fuck her. I said, I don't need to be your friend to fuck you. You think I am? I'm better than you. And so I stopped fucking with her. She come back and go, I miss you. I miss you. I said, listen, I have to tongue kiss you because since you treated me like a nigga that was trying to fuck you anyway, I need to know what it's like. So I kissed her, and it was bells and, oh, for her. For me, I'm like, I just tongue kissed you. But it, it got special for her. Here's what you got to tell her. You got to be willing to take a L, Daryl, a loss, yeah. nigga. You got to tell her, look, man, you've been treating me like this duck for a long time. I'm going to tell you something. My friendship is my love. Like, my love, my friendship, my body, my time, it's, it's all the same to me. My time, my body, everything. You, you've been abusing me. You've been using my time. You've been using my love for you. You've been using, knowing that I, I want you, you've been hanging around me and not giving me what I need, which makes you think that that shit, your pussy is more special than my existence. And you got to tell her that, that either you ante up with some cooch, and you take yeah. it, dude, and you unload on it, Daryl. Don't be doing no make oh, love. This is a you smash her and tell her you goofy whore. You've been li this is it. This is your fuck game. You've been making me wait for. You're not even a soldier in bed. You take it out on her, and then you go thank you. Now, if you want to be friends now, true friends, we could do that. Now don't and don't do it as a tactic. Do it. You have to have a, a be righteous a ethic. with the fact that you're just laying it down. It be honest be with it. Because if you use it as a tactic and then you're going to go back as being a friend and move yeah. in a refrigerator after you finish, you'll, you'll finish forever. <clears throat> so my last word, man, my last word to you, Daryl, is two things, man. You got to either take a L, like take it and just never talk to her again. Blow it up. Or... Or blow it up, risk a L. Take your take your grenade, throw it down in front of her, and go. You gotta give me some pussy, or you are never to talk to me again. And 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 that's what you gotta do. Two forms of taking an L. One, completely dismiss her, or two, tell her that you have taken enough of my time for me to find out if you got some good ass. Cause that's what I'm gonna do. Really, is to find out if it's good. Cause I still might leave you. If it's bad after all these years, you asshole. <laughs> it smells like the inside of a uh, <laughs> garbage juice. <laughs> garbage water. <laughs> it smells like the inside of a boxing glove after a twelve round fight. <laughs> <laughs> Smell like the end of a stump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Daryl, take care, man. Good luck to you, man.